Hi, I'm Chuck Friedman. I head up community engagement and training for the Trust Analytics platform as Chief Developer Advocate. Today we're going to show you the Trust Analytics platform console, all the features and extensibility this platform brings to your organization. TAP is a completely open source platform that brings a new collaborative workflow to the data scientists and solution developers in your team. Here we are in the Trusted Analytics Platform console, the TAP console. We'll start with the bottom left going up. Once TAP is installed in your cloud environment, the first place you'll go is user management. This is where the developer operations or system operator can go and invite the initial members of your organization into TAP. Data scientists and solution developers will receive an email, and upon coming into TAP, they'll log in and change their password. You can invite users into organizations and spaces. This will allow them to localize their data either within the org or space or share it across the organization. In the TAP console, data science is where we find all available tools to the data scientist. Depending on your installation, you may have many available tools. The TAP Analytics Toolkit is the main data science tool in TAP. It's based on elements of Spark, and this is where you'll process and publish models of data to production. In the TAP console, app development is where we make tools available to the app and solutions developer. Because TAP is based on Cloud Foundry, the Cloud Foundry CLI is the main tool for pushing applications into the TAP environment. The tool is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. It is a command line based tool and it features a very in-depth API with extensive documentation. In the TAP console, services is the place where a lot of available tools and partners in the TAP ecosystem become available to your team. This is probably the most extensible part of the Trust Analytics platform. Here you have an array of data stores and services, ingestion and streaming engines, as well as elements of Hadoop where you can store data across a distributed file system. You'll find popular data stores like Cassandra, MongoDB, CouchDB here, as well as ingestion tools like GearPump, RabbitMQ. Being so extensible, you can actually add your own services to the installation of TAP that you have. You can also perform other operations like making your server logs available as a service. All of these will be found in the marketplace to other users in your organization, and they can be easily bound to the applications published. This means that you can write an application that is flexible to a number of the persistent data models available in TAP, and then once published, select which persistent data source you'd like to bind to that application. You can also perform these functions in the command line interface. In the TAP console, applications is where those apps that you publish to the TAP environment will be displayed. This is where you can manage their instance, you can scale them, redeploy them, and bind them to the services that you've selected inside the marketplace. Let's look at a specific application's profile. Here you can see the memory footprint as set and how many instances are available and running. From the bindings tab, you can see a list of available service instances based on those that you've selected from the marketplace, and you can easily bind those services to this application. In the TAP console, the data catalog works as a sandbox for trying out data before you model it in a data science tool like the TAP Analytics Toolkit. Here, anyone in your team can upload a CSV file and use a visualization framework to prove out a model before you push it into production. Data sets uploaded here can be shared across your organization or kept within your team. You can use Submit Transfer to upload the CSV files. And if it's a large file, the Transfers tab will help you monitor its status. Finally, in the TAP console, Dashboard is where you monitor the overall health of the environment, how many applications are running, how many users in the environment, and allow you to monitor the overall health of the Trusted Analytics platform. Thank you for watching. For more information on Trusted Analytics Project, visit trustedanalytics.org, search Trusted Analytics on GitHub, or follow us at Trusted Analytic on Twitter.